where did Cain bury Abel? Looking at Baalbek and the following regions from a Google map satellite, it looks like a well dug up grave. Wait, a flat earther trusting Google Maps? I thought they were the devil. Not the devil. She the most beautiful woman in the world. It also looks like Baalbek might be the chest or the skull. You can easily make out the ribcage and a full spine with legs. The old skeleton bones even make up the roads. More unsubstantiated bullshit here. <coughs> if you think Baalbek looks like a perfectly fit grave, then you are crazy. Also, if they use the bones to create the roads, what the hell do they bury? His hair? If Baalbek was of such importance to a biblical character, why is it never mentioned in the Bible? Also, why is it so unimportant historically until the Roman Empire built something on top of it? Like the Bible says, Cain worked in the soil while Abel worked the sheep. When looking at an aerial view of the Baalbek temple, it looks like a man walking his sheep. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. According to the Maronite Patriarch of Lebanon, Estefan Dwayhi, tradition states that the fortress of Baalbek is the most ancient building in the world. Cain, the son of Adam, built it in the year 133 of creation during a fit of raving madness. He gave it the name of his son Enoch and peopled it with giants who were punished for their iniquities by the flood. So Cain built Baalbek as therapy. I thought it was Abel's grave. And what does Cain have to do with the flood? Cain would have been dead long before the flood. How does this shit get through editing? Can any of the four people involved with this tripe Please try to keep this story straight. Or did God take the giant trees and store them at Antarctica as written in Job for times of trouble and war? The book of Job chapter 33 verse 22 clearly states, Has thou entered into the treasures of the snow, or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail, which I have reserved against a time of trouble, against a day of battle and war? How did you get ancient giant trees out of those verses in Job? I thought you people are good Christians. Stop molesting the Bible already. Stop! Stop! He's already dead! So if you made it this far, we really want to thank you for watching the Ancient Tree Research Project, Giant Cedars of Lebanon. If you are new to this idea, then watch a video called No Forests on Flat Earth. It's the video that changed everything when it came out in 2016. Also, Rosette has a playlist of her own videos called There Are No Forests, Decoded. Be sure to check that out. I completely understand that this sounds crazy, and even I wanted nothing to do with it when it first came up. But the more you look into it, the realer it gets. I've already watched No Forests on the Flat Earth, and it's the same lack of quality that this presentation was. Hours of bitching about masons, and next to zero actual conversation about the thesis that mountains are actually giant trees. I chose this super off the wall topic not only for the laughs, but because I think it is important that a dissenting opinion exists for people to find. It's a shame that the original videos have a hundred thousand plus views and there was zero rebuttal out there. Well now there is something better. I wanted to thank you all for sticking through to the end of this series. I realize I edited out a lot of content from the original video, but honestly, it's the same old Evil Masons diatribe that you have heard over and over again for conspiracy theorists like these. I may tackle the other videos on this subject at a later date, time will tell.